Hi there, welcome in. I am Dr. Mint. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Yeah, so it looks like you're coming in for a pretty good bump on your head. You fell, right? Okay, how about you tell me a little bit about that fall? Okay, you just kind of tripped on the ground and hit your head? Okay, were you feeling any kind of uh, dizziness, lightheadedness prior to your fall? No? Um, have you eaten today? Make sure you've eaten enough. Yeah, I want to make sure, yeah, it's not a low blood sugar kind of thing. Okay, were you feeling shortness of breath at all? No? Okay. Alright, so it's sounding more just like a mechanical fall. You just kind of tripped, but I am gonna um, make sure to just kind of take your vitals, make sure you're not having any kind of rapid heart rate or irregular breathing, anything like that. So I'm gonna... Use my handy dandy stethoscope real quick. Get this on. I'm gonna take a minute to just kind of warm this up because I know it can be a little cold and that's not fun. All right, okay. I am gonna kind of move your shirt out of the way a little bit just so I can get your heartbeat, okay? And just hold still and breathe normally. And now I'm going to do um, check your breathing. So if you could just take a few deep breaths for me. And in. And hold it. And exhale. Thank you. Okay, let me check the other side. And again, just breathe in. Nice deep breath in. And hold it. And then exhale. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. So it was, it looks like a pretty good fall. Looks like you have a decent sized goose egg going on and then a little bit of a scratch. So I'm gonna get my gloves on. I'm gonna start by just cleaning out the wound a little bit. It doesn't look very big at all. Just more of a scrape. So I don't think you're gonna need stitches or anything like that. But because you have that good sized goose egg, we are gonna check that you don't have a concussion. And a concussion is gonna be a traumatic brain injury and that happens on any, um, any kind of big jolt to the head and brain. Basically the brain's gonna, the brain and head are gonna be jolted and they'll move around and that can cause a like physical damage to your brain cells, you're gonna cause chemical reactions in the brain, and it's just, yeah, not good things, things you really wanna catch early, make sure we take care of. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this alcohol wipe, and we're just gonna kinda clean off that scrape because we don't want any kind of infection, especially not something up in this area that could be close to your eye. Let me just unfold this. It's more difficult to close on. Okay. And now this may sting a little. It is an alcohol wipe. I apologize. I'm gonna take a closer look at that now. I am gonna kind of press on it and maybe a little tender. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's tender. All right. Yeah, it just looks like a little bit of a scrape, but I am going to spray a little bit of this um, antiseptic, like liquid bandage, basically, and it's just gonna seal up that wound so you can't get any kind of infection in there. All right. And it does have an antiseptic in it, so let me sting a little again. Let me just spray. Perfect. That should help seal up that wound. Now, um, I'm gonna begin doing like a kind of concussion protocol on you. So we're just gonna check a few things like memory. So can you just um, recite your name again for me? Okay. And what is today's date? Okay. And again, can you just kind of tell me how your fall happened? 
stripped. Yep. And do you know where you are right now? Okay. That may be a tricky one. What is my name? Dr. Mint. Yep. Perfect. All right. Um. Okay. A little tougher. Could you spell the word planet, like planet Earth, for me backwards? Great. And then I'm going to have you just recite your ABCs, but I would like you to stop at the letter N. Okay, now go ahead. Perfect. Great. All right, now I'm going to check your vision a little bit. Um, I'm going to grab my pen light. It is going to be kind of bright. Um, so, um, it is bright, but if you have a concussion, you're probably going to have like a severe um, reaction to light. It's going to be painful, so just let me know if it is very painful to be looking into this light. What I'm going to have you do is just stare right at my nose. And I'm just going to check your pupil dilation. One thing um, that can be a symptom of uh, of a concussion is having lower reaction time so your pupils not dilating quite as quickly as they should or one pupil being able to dilate and the other not okay so i'm just gonna check and stare straight ahead okay it's looking good it looks like you're dilating appropriately. Good. Okay. So now I'm just going to have you follow the tip of my pen light with your eyes. You're going to keep your head straight, but just follow it with your eyes, okay? Okay, so let's begin. Um, been experiencing any uh, nausea or the need to vomit after you've hit your head? No. Okay, good. Um, do you feel kind of sluggish, maybe lightheaded, foggy, not, not quite sure what's going on? Okay. And how would you say you are feeling um, emotionally right now? Just okay. Um, do you feel like you're quick to anger or be irritated? Um, do you feel down? No? Okay. That's good. So another symptom of a concussion could be blurred vision. So I'm just going to hold up my fingers with some numbers on them. And I just want you to repeat what numbers I'm holding up. So I'm going to have you cover one eye, whichever you prefer to start with. And then I'll just hold up numbers. Okay. Get that eye covered for me. Perfect. All right. And what am I holding up? A one. And. Four, three, five, yep, and a one. Okay, now cover that other eye for me. And what number am I holding up? Two, three, two, one, five, and two. Okay, now with just both eyes open again, and how many fingers am I holding up? Okay, and five, good, and four, good, three, good, good. So now I'm also going to be checking your neck, so I'm going to be touching the back of your neck, and I want you to let me know if there's any pain in the center of your neck on the back towards the spine. Yeah, so we're going to check if there's any spinal injuries, basically. So I'm just going to be kind of firmly pressing the back of your neck, all right? Just let me know if anything is tender. Okay. 
not feeling anything painful right now. No? Okay, that's a good sign. Now I'm gonna have you um, turn your head side to side with me. So first we're gonna turn our heads to the right. Okay, and I'm just gonna have you hold there for a second. Okay, and come back to center for me. Thank you, and then turn your head to the left. Okay. And now you can come back to center. All right, and did you feel like the same normal range of motion in your movements? It looked really good, yeah. So I'm gonna say you don't need any kind of like head CT or X-ray on your neck with no pain, no, no um, stopping in, in your range of motion that I don't think we need to check there. Everything looks really good. So now I'm also gonna check your strength. So what I'm gonna do is hold your hands out for me and I'm just gonna try to push them down. Just keep them straight out in front of you, okay? All right, now put your hands out. Okay, I'm gonna push down. Nice, nice and strong. Okay, now I'm gonna do it from the other side. I'm gonna push up again. Just keep your hands where they are. Perfect. Okay, and now make some muscles for me. It's gonna be kind of weird because they're gonna be out in front of you. I'm gonna try to pull your wrist towards me. Don't let me do that, okay? And here we go. Perfect. Now, another thing is I'm gonna need to check your balance. So if I could just have you stand up and I'm gonna have you stand on one leg at a time. Okay, so if you could stand up for me. Thank you. And now I'm gonna have you stand on your right leg. Please raise your left leg into the air. I'm just gonna have you try to balance for like 10 seconds or so. Yeah, you can put your arms out, that's totally fine. Okay, good. And switch legs for me. Okay, and no trouble balancing, that's out of the normal for you. Great. Okay. So that's looking really good. Um, it does just look like you have a pretty good bang to your head, but no concussion, which is great. That's what I like to see, you know, I mean, aside from having any kind of injury at all, but with what you did, it looks like you, you rode that line right with getting hit on the head, but no concussion. So way to go. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is write you a doctor's note because I don't think you should be going to work at all for the next two days. Just really take it easy. Um, let me get that going for you. So you can give this to your job. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna give you this. There you go. Just take that to your work site. Doctor's orders. You need at least two days of rest. And then um, for the goose egg, what you're gonna wanna do is ice it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and I would do it as frequently as you need, but just make sure that you have an ice pack that you wrap in either an old towel or like old t-shirts. So you don't have any kind of like that ice like directly on your head. That could be bad for the, um, for your skin and your tissues. Yeah. Do you have any other kind of questions for me? Okay, yeah. My recommendation is just to take it easy for the next couple days. Be really mindful of how you're feeling. If there's any changes in um, your behavior or like you start developing neck pain or sensitivity to light or sound, I would definitely come back in to get checked out again. Okay, but it looks like you're gonna be perfectly fine. Just take these next two days for some good rest and relaxation. So you have a good rest of your day, all right? Start feeling better. Bye-bye.